Farm Basics is brought to you by the Liberty Link Trait and Liberty Herbicide from Bayer. The most reliable weed management solution, Liberty Link and Liberty Herbicide are the link to efficient row crop production and sustainable weed management. During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about later season application of nitrogen in wheat through the use of what we call stream bars. You know, one of the questions with wheat every year is, what can I do to improve my protein levels in my wheat? In many areas, there's a premium paid for higher protein wheat compared to just average protein wheat. And so farmers, if there's a premium out there where they can get a little bit more money per bushel of grain, they certainly want to achieve that and they want to keep whoever's going to be the end user of that wheat happy. So raising higher protein wheat is one of the reasons farmers are looking for ways to get nutrients like nitrogen put on later in the season. With nitrogen, one of the biggest challenges is it's not just going to stay in soil. A lot of times that will move through the soil profile and it will get out of the root zone after big rains. And it depends on the soil type and a lot of different conditions, how much rainfall you have. But one of the considerations for farmers is they're looking at how much can my soil hold in the beginning? So they look at cation exchange capacity, multiply their number times 10, and that tells them roughly how much nitrogen their soil can hold at any one time. Well, the problem is if you're going for a big time wheat yield, you just can't hold all that nitrogen in most soils. So guys are split applying the nitrogen. They put some out early and then they come back with some later on. Certainly a lot of products get sprayed right over the top of crops. But the trouble is if you spray a lot of liquid nitrogen right over the top of the crop, it will burn the crop. So what farmers have done to reduce the burn is put on these stream bars on their sprayers so it will be a little stream of nitrogen that falls all the way down to the ground, minimizing leaf burn yet maximizing yield. A lot of the nitrogen is going to be taken up through the root system anyway, so if we can get that nitrogen down to the ground, then our roots can start pulling that nitrogen up and feeding that crop. And getting it through that canopy is really a big deal too. Brian talks about how nitrogen used to get sprayed over the top and still there are some applications where it will get sprayed over the top. The challenge now is many farmers say, well, hey, I also need to get some weed control or I need some disease control or some insect control too. And you start mixing those things with a liquid nitrogen product. And sure, you can dilute that nitrogen down, mixing a bunch of water with it or something like that so the droplets aren't quite so concentrated. But when you start mixing it with another product out there, maybe it's a weed killer or one of the other things that I just listed, you're gonna add so much burn to that. And once you burn those leaves on wheat, that's where we're taking in the sunlight energy. That's where we're doing all this photosynthesis to try to grow a bigger crop. And we don't want to do anything to destroy our leaves on our wheat plants. That's a big, big deal. So that's why many of the high yield farmers that we work with around the world have put these stream bars on their equipment so they can apply nitrogen a little bit later in the season without burning a whole bunch of the wheat. And not only are they gaining higher yield, they're getting higher protein levels as well. Oh, hey, one other thing, Brian, when we talk about stream bars, how are guys gonna get out in the field? They need to have tram lines too. That really helps when you leave dedicated tracks for those wheels to run. So we can run a sprayer through that's going to be applying this nitrogen really at any point during the season without running over crop and limiting our yield. Well, one of the reasons why a farmer might be out there with this sprayer in addition to stream barring nitrogen is to control weeds like our Weed of the Week. We'll tell you how to stop this tough one for wheat farmers and all farmers coming up later in the show.